Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my home. I'm Eileen and today we're going to look at Ellen Villa Blues in the color Silver Blonde Rooted. I just put it on with glasses to show that this works great with glasses. This is a fun short wig. It was provided to me by Wig Studio One for review for you today. Can't wait to show it to you. So let's get started. Okay, let's have a look. Ellen Villa Blues in the color Silver Blonde Rooted. I love this color. I think I've reviewed this color before, and I like it in this short, fun style. Let me show you the back. I like this. It's very tight to the neck. Now, however, this has a 2.75 inch nape. So if you have some hair that is growing longer, this is good coverage on this wig, on the nape. Now, this is a basic cap wig. It has this fringe. It is super, super low density. Short bob, lots of layers, as you can see. No permatees to speak of. Very low density. If you're looking for a super low density wig, keep this one in mind. Now, we're going to use some styling cream to create a little texture, but this is not ever going to be big hair. It's not supposed to. But you can get your hands in it. You can see I'm not highly styling it. I like to get my hands in my wigs and pull it away from the cap as much as I can. That creates a little movement. It gives it more of a natural look. It's not flat to your head that way. And I just think that's a good way to start when you first get a wig out of the box and you know you're going to keep it. Now, of course, if you're going to return it, don't do any of that. But if you're going to keep it, get your hands really in it and pull it up and away from the cap. And like I said, you'll see, it creates just a little bit of volume. But like I said, this wig, you're not going to get a lot of volume. This is part of the Hair Power Collection from Ellen Villa, chin length style. My face is nine inches from hairline to chin. And you can see where this hits me here. The front is three and a half, these little bangs. The sides are four and a half. The crown is seven and a half. And it has that 2.75 inch nape. Nice nape on this wig. Okay, let's talk about the color. Silver blonde rooted, medium honey blonde, blended with light ash blonde and dark roots. Now, you can see that medium honey blonde running throughout this wig. And when we go outside, I think you'll be able to see that more. A lot of ash in this wig, dark roots, and outside you'll be able to see this better, I believe, than indoor lighting. There is a little reddish brown running through this root. And I think it shows up good in outdoor lighting. So let's go outside and have a look at it. Okay, that was a look at the color outside. I want to show you the coverage on this wig. Here is my bio hair right here. So it's got good coverage, both sides. The ear tabs fit me very well. They're right here, right above my ear, right there. So I want to be sure you see the coverage on this one. You can wear this behind your ears. It's adorable, easy to do. Throw it on with a headband, of course. I usually tend to put my hair behind my ears when I wear a headband and just leave a little out. And like I said, this is a basic cap, so there's no lace front or anything. And it's super, super low density, like we said. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of John Renault Styling Cream just to give you an idea of what you can do. You do not need much. Don't put a lot of product on your wigs. It'll weigh them down. It'll cause a buildup. You'll have to wash them more often. But I just want to create a little texture here. And you can easily do that just by running a little styling cream through this hair. 
I like that messier look for me. It's just my preference. Everybody has their own way. And you can just piece this out a little bit. As you can see, just with that little bit amount, put a little bit more and maybe work it through the bangs a little bit, mess them up. It's easy to create that texture with that styling cream. Nice. Okay, let's take a look at the inside of the cap. Okay, here's a look at the inside of the cap of Ellen Villa Blues. As you can see, it has a mono crown. This is a little larger than the normal mono crowns I see. They're usually a smaller disc. This is a larger disc, so where it's parted there, it looks like that's growing right out of your head. Like I said, no lace front. No permatees really to speak of in this wig. This fits me pretty snug. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference and this fits snug. Remember Ellen Villa wigs are petite average. Closed ear tabs with stays, open wefted, non-extended felt nape with velcro adjusters and there is a little stretch in here. And here is another look at silver blonde rooted. Again you can see that honey blonde coming through, ashy, and then rooting. Okay guys, that's my review, Ellen Villa Blues. Please stay to the end of the video. I'll insert some more photos, some indoor and outdoor lighting. Please don't forget to join us in our private Facebook group, Wig Studio One, Wig and Topper Support Group. It's a beautiful group of people over there. Lots of encouragement and support in that Facebook group. And don't forget, follow me on Instagram at Crazy Wig Lady. Please like and subscribe to this channel. And thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you next time.